pay teachers 100 grand pay teachers 100 grand my god the educational system is failing us people just don't understand what's real and what's fake on social media folks are fucking gullible i used to tell my students that all the time don't be gullible especially in this social media era when anybody can post any goddamn thing and as long as you got enough likes or shares or retweets or whatever as long as it looks legit motherfuckers gonna take it and run with it my latest evidence of this is a social media account called ball sack sports that's the real name of it i'm not bullshitting i'm not making this up they are called ball sack sports okay and they are tricking motherfuckers left and right on a daily basis i can't be mad at them either because it's it's clearly a parody site it's clearly that kind of like what uh the social media account the onion is for uh politics well everybody knows what it is everybody with some sense at least knows what's going on so actually it's, it's quite funny you know what i'm saying when you see some of the shit uh that they post and the same can be said for ball sack sports like you click the shit that they do is so outlandish that you know it's bullshit if you got some sense but there are thousands i guess in this country that just fucking don't really it's millions in this motherfucker that don't but ball sack be <laughs> tricking a lot of folks look at me ball sack folks really be taking a, a site named ball sack sport seriously y'all don't know what i'm talking about maybe y'all haven't seen ball sack sports uh, uh but you probably have let me show you some of their work okay here's one thing all right this is one of the latest things that i saw and that one of the athletes pushed back on okay y'all see ball sack sports maybe you're not familiar with twitter and shit like that look at the thing the post below first okay this is one where the athlete marcus moore's quote tweeted something from ball sex sports so look at ball sex sports post first okay y'all see how they got ball sex sports written there uh they got the little r like it's registered and they got the little tweak thing they're not verified but just that 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 restricted sign and the little tweak thing right there and people mind they make it look like it's official and shit like that you know what i'm talking about uh so they put Marcus Morris picture and they said Marcus Morris says the 2020 Lakers championship don't count. All right. Now, with the uh in city beef that you got between the Clippers and the Lakers, you know what I'm talking about? And the little shit talk that was going back uh to that season, and everything like that, that's somewhat believable, right? But look at what Marcus Morris says in his quote tweet. He said, when, when the hell did I say that? My brother was on that team. True. Y'all motherfuckers would really say anything. Now, countless motherfuckers had liked, retweeted, and commented under that shit going ham on Marcus Moore. And he's telling you right there that's some bullshit. Okay? But Ball Sack Sports been getting folk for the longest okay so i've been going through and screenshotting some of the ones that i saw that was just so egregious uh it's one that i missed out on that i wish i would have caught oh uh, they got lamar jackson one time and you know what i'm saying and they were so they were tripped out whoever run the account they were tripped out man they had got them when when they trick you they call it getting sacked like you got sacked and they be sacking a lot of motherfuckers, man. Uh, here's one. They love posting shit about Bron. That's inflammatory. They know it's going to get people going. 
Okay. So here's one where they got, you know, Ron Artest. Ron Artest says defenders get away with hacking LeBron because he's too big and strong. Look at what they say, man. You know, they love to get the GOAT the discussion going. We couldn't breathe on Mike. Braun is hilarious because you can push, grab, hold on for their life and get away with it. He's that big and strong. The refs just kind of tell you to play on. So, you know, motherfuckers got the goddamn, see, this this is why uh, LeBron is better than my game. This is ball sack sports saying this. And people just taking it in the run with it. I saw some of my young boys. They've done it. I just be shaking my head. Because I've tried to teach mine. Okay? Don't get it twisted. I ain't one of them ones. I told my students about propaganda, about sensationalism, about the yellow press. If any of my youngins watching this, you're bullshitting if you, don't, if you say that I didn't teach you those terms. Okay? Because this ain't nothing new. Uh, in the newspaper, when newspapers were at their height, you know, newspapers uh, did this. Uh, Hearst, Pulitzer, all those guys made millions y'all off doing this shit. Uh, we've seen the same in uh, TV. We've seen it in radio, motherfuckers like Russ Limbaugh being inflammatory, Howard Stern being inflammatory, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, and so now in the social media era, we see folks just saying shit. You know, and people run with it. Check this one out. Former NBA player Josh Smith says LeBron wouldn't be as dominant in his era. It's a different game back then, much more physical. I don't think he has the jump shot or skills to really consistently dominate defenses then as he does today. There's so much spacing in today's game. We had two, three guys on a star player in a given night. Nothing was easy. Josh Smith on LeBron translating to the 2000s. Now, People were in the goddamn comment section doing the fooling, uh, pointing out that hell they played against each other. This motherfucker ain't say this. Like, oh, it's. I can see why the old motherfuckers were tricked into thinking Trump really won an election. Because it, these folks are so easily duped. This one. Again, look at the one at the bottom first. Then, if you know, for those of y'all not familiar with Twitter, James Harden, or well, look at the one in the middle because it's a comment down there. So, James Harden is brutally honest about the state of the Nets. We just don't got the talent. So, this brother, whoever he is, quote tweeted, he, he obviously got sacked. Bro, y'all got three all stars. He obviously got sacked. Uh, then, brother down here coming. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but he got sacked believing this shit is real. I can go on for that. Now, this one was fucking crazy. You know, goddamn well, Bron ain't said this. My hairline hasn't let me down as much as some of you sorry-ass motherfuckers have in my career. Y'all know damn well Bron ain't said that. Did you just know better? So, all the motherfuckers that liked to retweet this and would come in and shit, y'all should've got your ass whooped. Now, if you were liking the retweeting because you just knew it was funny, you knew it was some bullshit. Okay, you cool. You all right? I get you out. But you motherfuckers that really believe this shit, need your ass whoop. Need your ass whoop. Look at those. Jimmy Butler was asked about his thoughts on tonight's NBA All Star Saturday night. He did not sugarcoat his feelings via an interview with at Ball Sack Sports. So they they even acting like they got. Uh, uh, beat writers so motherfuckers out here interviewing people. I'd rather watch Rachel Nichols' skill challenge, if you know what I mean. Because y'all know it's the, all the the <sighs> the running joke in the NBA is, is media or on you know, NBA Twitter is that uh, Jimmy Butler was knocking off Rachel Nichols. Y'all know goddamn well this man ain't said this to nobody though. Stop! But then look at the dude. Look at the dude up here. They just put a guy's name, put a little bird next to him, uh, put Fox next to him like he works for Fox. I can go put first letter Fox next to my shit. I can go put first letter ESPN next to my shit. Come the fuck on, America! 
What the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Kevin Garnett criticized the state of the NBA via an interview with Ball Sack Sports. Everybody just running from the grind nowadays, teaming up with each other. Back in my day, we did the hard way. If you can't win alone, you're considered a bum, period. Now, this was one of the few I was like, ah, right, KG might have said this shit. Y'all know how KGB, KGB anti brawn and shit, and how them Celtics milking the fuck out that, that title. But given the fact it said ball sack sports, I said KG ain't must, must not have said that. He must not have said that. Even though that's, that's one well. I was like, KG might have said that. Braun again. They say they, they, they stay doing the fool with Braun. Former Cavs coach David Black said LeBron wouldn't stand out in Europe. You know goddamn well that man ain't say no shit like that. I was kind of disappointed, to be honest. I was expecting a bit more from him, obviously. He's a tremendous player, but I don't think he stand out as much here as he does in the NBA. That man would be banned from any court in the world if he said that. That man would be checked in to uh, an insane asylum. And be, I don't know motherfucking well ain't nobody said that. Now, he might be pissed with Brun for getting him fired, but stop it. Stop it. Oh, this one here. This one here got folk for real. Kyrie Irving and James Harden got into a brief physical altercation after Kyrie called the 32-year-old superstar washed during one scrimmage. Y'all know goddamn where ESPN would have been all over this story. All over. Stephen A would have done a, a, a week on this shit. Folks got sacked. Come on. Another one where they, they love to use Ron Artest in, in the bullshit with Brun Brun and uh, Mike. Ron Artest says Michael Jordan was the first to dub LeBron the chosen one. Footage of their legendary scrimmage is set to release July 2023. I came in with LeBron and Mike asked, he's the one? Braun nodded. That kid was 16. He was in awe. Mike and Braun were on the same team every game and never lost once. Mike was Mike, but LeBron took over the gym that day. None of us could guard this 16-year-old, and we were all NBA defensive guys. Braun hit one baseline fadeaway over me for game, and Mike looked over at me and said, that's the one. Once Mike stamped LeBron as the one, that's when all the chosen one labels came about. Now, I just got done reading. Charles, Charles Oakley's book. Check that out. The Last Enforcer. Dope ass book. Dope ass. Charles, Charles Oakley, real one. Charles Oakley said uh, they did invite Brun Brun to come watch them scrimmage. They said Brun Brun wanted to play. He was not allowed to play, though, because they were worried that, you know, if he had got injured uh, before he was able to go into the league and get that big-ass contract. They didn't want to come back on them. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they end up playing at one point. But this story that I've only heard from ball sack sports, I'm going to have to doubt the validity of it. Was Braun phenomenal at 16? I, it's, I'm, I would bet. I saw what that motherfucker was at 18. Phenomenal. This quote from Ball Sack Sports. I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that. So this is one most recent. This last one I'm going to do. With Brady coming out of retirement. And see, well, you got to be Careful, see, with this one that y'all see, I saw it on Facebook and knew it was ball sack sports, though, because I had already seen it on Twitter. But on Facebook, it didn't have ball sack sports attached to it. And folks were sharing this shit left and right. Talking about what made Brady come out of retirement. 
says this quote from Brady. He texted me, to my brother. He texted me, hey, we're the best ever at what we do. We're competing with each other at this point. When he dropped 54 or whatever the day, the other day, I texted him, all right, I'm coming back. Y'all know goddamn well that ain't what the fuck happened. Because if it did a story like this, you you know Skip and Shannon would have done the fool on this topic. I would have loved to see it. I would have loved for it to be true. Just to see how the motherfucker act a fool about this. Because you know, Tom Brady is the one that makes uh, uh, Skip Bayless have wet dreams. And LeBron Raymond James Sr. is the one that makes uh, Shannon Sharp sit up there and have a fucking uh, uh, orgasm on TV. So I would have loved for this to be true. But from ball sack sports, if you shared this shit, and I, I distinctly saw some of my young boys share this, your ass got sacked. So please, sports loving America and America in general, beware ball sack sports. Don't get sacked. And on some real shit, think more critically when you're perusing social media. If it's something salacious, if it's something that seems like, oh, I ain't, know, I ain't heard nobody else say that. Where did this come from? Who is this saying it? Check the fucking source. Click on them. See what they're about. Look them up on another. Uh, Google them. See if they are a valid source of information. Some ball sex sports, like I said, this is a parody joint. Some folks, though, are legitimately in the media, but hey, but they get they give their opinion on stuff. They're not uh, Anderson Cooper of CNN, you know, is a journalist. I assume what his opinion is on things, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Tucker Carlson is not a journalist. That motherfucker is a conservative opinionist. Rachel Maddow is a liberal opinionist. They give their opinions on politics. Same thing can be said of Stephen A. Smith now. He used to be a journalist. He used to really go out there in the field and, and cover games and then had to write about that shit objectively. You know what I'm talking about? Until he started giving his opinion. He's on TV now giving his, his take on things. He's not like the beat writers out here that, that report for your local papers and shit like that. They just go in and find out what the story is. They can't really, you know, give their opinion. My brother, he used to be a news director. He had to withhold his opinion on stuff. He came to cover my team one time when I was a head coach. Saw one of my boys get dunked on. The shit didn't even count. Because my boy took the charge. So I used to teach that. He took a charge. The shit didn't count. My brother still put it on TV. Why? Because he knew folks were going to want to see that. Whether he loves me or not, he had to be unbiased. See, that's journalism. This shit here, balls exports. Oof. It's some shit that's out there just to fuck with you. And it's fucking with far too many of you. So don't get sacked. Okay? Don't get sacked. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.